-hmm. And so let's say, okay, Steve, if we're trying to keep count since Saturday night, so it's been 36 hours since the shooting Saturday night. So we've had 14 people shot in 36 hours. Awful. Good thing we had, well, I don't know. A thousand people showed up at that. Uh, Put it down, uh, emergency. Violence forum up at the Met. We'll talk about that in just a second. We'll, we'll give you an update on what happened Saturday, though. So back to the numbers that Mike was just talking about. Seven people recovering after being shot at a West Philadelphia playground. That one happened Saturday night, Baker Playground, near the intersection of North 54th Street and Lansdowne Avenue. Neighbors say hundreds were gathered for an annual basketball tournament and cookout when two men started shooting into the crowd. Luckily, all seven victims are in stable condition. Police do not have a motive at this time, and they are searching for those shooters. Okay, in Burlington County, Kate McClure will soon learn her fate. Oh, yes, you remember that name now. She's scheduled to be sentenced this morning after pleading guilty for her part in the GoFundMe scam and scheme. 49 bucks, that's half price. That is a great price. Oh, you have, you oh. haven't seen it that low since I think Black Friday last year. Where's so my phone? 49 bucks for the DNA kit. That's a good one. I want that one. I do too. I want it. I'll take that. Uh, my daughter just did it. And she, she Sue, my daughter Jessica, mm -hmm. she goes, I just did the 23andMe, whatever. Okay. So, Dad, if you have anything to tell me, tell me now. <laughs> Before these results come yes. back. Yes. <laughs> Where are the other kids? <laughs> Hey, uh, Doyle Town, Lauren Johnson says hello. Hello. Hey, hey. I'm waking everybody up this morning. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> Here comes the sun. This is, uh, would be terrifying. They're not supposed to be going over this waterfall when I showed it to you. Uh, rafters. Now, this is at a state park way out in the western part of Pennsylvania. 619. Okay, Sue, I know you heard about this. A war of words between the president and some female lawmakers over the weekend. Yeah, and some of those lawmakers fired back in response to the president's tweets aimed at four female congresswomen that you're looking at right there. So the president tweeted yesterday, so interesting to see progressive Democrat congresswomen who originally came from countries whose governments are a complete and total catastrophe. Why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came? Well, Rodney McLeod apparently is going to get married going to get it's he, past tense oh he got he, he got married <laughs> he got married over the weekend oh i thought he got engaged where were you so he oh, was sharing man. all these videos and pictures from the special day on instagram him and his now wife erica lee got engaged in february oh. and um yeah they won the super bowl so it's been like a really exciting time for them they met in 2009 when the two of them were teenagers Oh, teenage sweethearts. I know, it's like puppy love. Oh, that's great. He milked it 10 years. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you nice young. It's been 10 years, Rodney. Flames shooting from the ground, an explosion and fire right outside our studio, causing some really big problems, not just for us, but some of the biggest attractions in our city. Mm, a local video store that outlasted Blockbuster is finally shutting its doors. We take you to a place in Bucks County where you can still go rent a VHS. Please be kind and rewind. Rewind <laughs> and stay out of that back room that has the beads in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sue apparently knows what I'm talking about. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember before you could Netflix and chill? You mm -hmm. had to actually go to the store. Like Blockbuster. Like Blockbuster yeah. to get your video. They're kind of a thing of the past. Though. Yeah, those stores are gone. But one store braved the uh, transition from DVDs to on demand. But now they're saying goodbye. I miss those days. Mm -hmm. Tell us more, Thomas. Over the days you'd be hovering over the bin, waiting for someone to return yes. the video that you just couldn't find. It's funny now thinking yeah. back to how they used to charge you for not rewinding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it was a real be fee. Be kind, please rewind. Please rewind. 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 rewind fee. Got you I got a time. bunch of uh, beta tapes and all that, those different formats. Yeah. I'm looking for a place in the Philadelphia area where you can dub it all over oh, to digital. Luck. I have the same thing in my basement. Good all luck. those tapes over it the years. It is so <laughs> expensive. Oh, I did I know. it. You yeah, did it? I did it once, but I stopped halfway through. Do you have the pneumatic, the three quarter inch tapes as oh, well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. an inside kind of. Yeah. Listen, I'm pretty close to having two inch tape. <laughs> I do have some one inch tape in my apartment. You have to find those, yeah. dub them over. Wow. So if you know any place, not that I'm just doing personal business here on the show, but <laughs> if you know any place that does those dubbing, let for, me know. For free. <laughs> yeah, and for free. Thanks. <laughs> 
Uh, we're, we have music in our ears. I don't know if you can hear it or not. But I ran into Deanna Williams on Thursday and said, I, uh, ooh, I gave her a big hug. Congratulations. I said, I'll be listening this afternoon, this Monday afternoon. She returns to Afternoon Drive from 3 to 7, 107.9, classic R&B. It's going to be great to listen to her again. That's awesome. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, I've been listening to that station a lot when I'm not listening to uh, Quincy's radio station, which is 100.3. W-R-N-B. W-R-N-B. Yeah, about a four-hour period, four people shot in our city again. Yeah, a crews are still on the scene of a double shooting in Kensington. That's where Steve Keeley is live for us this morning. Hi, Steve. Tropical Depression Barry, uh, weaker now, of course, it's, it's over land. It's heading northbound and maybe toward us, but it's going to spark some tornadoes this afternoon. It drenched the Gulf Coast over the weekend and caused heavy flooding throughout parts of Louisiana and Alabama. Doug, you've been rained on all weekend. What's happening for you this morning there? A dry shirt, look. <laughs> I want to stay dry. <laughs> Thank you. Great job this weekend. Uh, 712, what an explosive... President Trump tweet has many Democrats and others as well calling the president a racist this morning. But as the fallout continues, it follows what had been a growing rift within the Democratic Party. Here's Doug. You want to know what's going on in your neighbor's backyard? Well, here you go. <laughs> so it's got the camera. It's got, it's got the camera. It's got the live video. It's got everything. I love these things. It's $89.99. It's usually about 130 bucks. This is really cool. It's the best seller on Amazon. And today it's marked down by $89.99. These things are way cool, aren't they? They are. Yeah. But if you live next door to Dan Ricardo, move. <laughs> right. He's the nosy neighbor. Yeah. I know you put up that big fence. Yep. We've got the fence. We've got the big bushes. No one sees what's going on by the pool. No. Nope. You already, you know the people with the privacy gates are the ones that are the nosiest. Oh yeah, they're probably the ones that have drones. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, here's Subi. Before we talk about the Phillies, a lot of people on Twitter are wondering why our bug isn't down there that normally has the time and the temp. Because you know people are getting ready and they kind of look to see what's going on. Yeah. Can you explain to them what happened over the It's weekend? just one of the um, uh, fallout uh, of a uh, uh, manhole cover exploding behind us here at the intersection of 4th and Market on 1 o'clock in the morning. Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. And yeah. it just knocked the power out for a lot of old city, but especially this TV station knocked us off the air. So we're slowly getting back up to speed. And that little bug, what we call it, the little graphic with the um, yum, yum, time and temp. Time and temp. It went down with the ship. Maybe we need you to do um, a live one so people can know what's going on. Is it usually on my side or your side? It's on your Where side. It's on the Lauren yeah. side. So I need you to keep up with people. So we're going to get this going for you guys. What's the temperature? I know Temp Sue right now? 70 <laughs> something. <laughs> the, the bug and the human are impacted. <laughs> I don't know who else to ask besides you. We figured you'd be the one to ask. Well, your wouldn't, temperature. You'd think I would know, wouldn't you? Yeah, 73. <laughs> 73. Okay. When that changes, Sue, we need a ding. Can you okay. get a little Celsius for us? Oh, the degree? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Right, stick it over in the corner. Oh, wait a second. It's already 719. <laughs> this is going to be hard, guys. It is. But we'll just keep this going. <laughs> okay, you, you you read and I'll... Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> Put it up there. Hurry. Are the Phillies good? have not <laughs> had the start they wanted coming out of the All-Star break. Yesterday, they looked to avoid the sweep at the hands of the Nationals. Bottom of the ninth, tied at three. Michael Franco comes up right here. Big! <laughs> He hits a walk-off solo home run to give them the 4-3 win. It's a career home run, number 100 for him. Phillies begin a four-game series with the Dodgers today at home. Yeah. It's hard to tell Phillies fans not to boo, right? We got that. We need some more paper for Mike in the break. Before that, though, not backing down. Serena Williams with some really strong words for people who say, just focus on playing and winning instead of fighting equality. Come on, she can do both. Right. Okay, so it's Ask and You Shall Receive Day here on Good Day. People want to know what's the time, what's the temp, because of our outage over the weekend. So we no, had to make move. sure that we gave people what they wanted. 724, 73 degrees. There we go. It's also uh, Amazon. Oh. <laughs> it's Amazon Prime Day, and the deals continue to the pop up. The first one that comes up. So, Dan. Who are you talking to, and what's the deal? You got it? <laughs> this is for LJ. She just asked for Ooh. an iPad, Mike. 
So how about an iPad for $299? That's the latest version okay. from Apple. Apple products very rarely go on sale, as you know. How much is it normally? Is yeah, that a so, good deal? Um, I think this one's like usually, what, $430 bucks normally? Oh. How about $299? That's a prime deal today. That's a pretty good one, LJ. Mike, you didn't give me a Christmas or birthday gift last year. <laughs> you got a raise. And well, you... where did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> so where's your phone? Yeah. What did you get me? <laughs> well. Yeah, well. How much was it? I was in business. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Come on. Good lord. That's pocket change. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, Dan, thank you. Keep them coming, Dan. Well, they're That's coming fast one. and furious. You know, Amazon isn't doing. Oh, Oh, <laughs> Amazon isn't the only retail giant with deals today. No, 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 no. Tracy, is it Tracy today? What are some of the other big stores that are have deals today? And speaking of the time, Lauren, it's 7.32. Yes, it is, Sue. <laughs> and guess what? Our intern, Sean, keeping us posted uh, with the temperature as well. So this is our live bug that we have going on. Um, okay, listen to this. A frightening scene in Old City on Saturday morning right in front of our studios. Check out that video there. Shot by Jackie, standing here in the studio watching her work now. The repairs are continuing to be done. It was a manhole fire that erupted just before 1 o'clock at the corner of 4th and Market. A very small explosion happened shortly after the fire started. Both events left hundreds without power, including us here at Fox 29. Pico crews were on scene all weekend working to restore power to the area. Right now, only a handful of customers are still in the dark. So it happened around 9.07 on Saturday morning. And of course, what do we do? We go straight to social media to kind of let people know exactly what happened. So that's what I did. Uh, my nieces were here visiting. We were sitting at my desk. The lights were out. It was dark in the newsroom. So I was trying to explain to people kind of what we were going through here and how we had nothing in the newsroom, no phones, no computers, no lights. Uh, so then we decided we're going to go on Facebook Live and we broadcast it right outside the studio. I was trying to explain to people what I saw and what I was feeling and what the sense was. Uh, this was around 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. So now here it is, 7.30 Monday morning. Mike, what's happening out there? All right, well, tell, now, when the lights went out, when it went dark, where were you again? I was in the bathroom, in Mike Jerry. In the Jarek. bathroom. <laughs> Here's the deal. I always take my phone to the bathroom, and a lot of people around the newsroom always ask why. This yeah, was why? the perfect reason why. I, it was jet black in the bathroom, and guess what I was able to do? Turn on my flashlight. You turn on the flashlight yes. on the phone. Yeah. I got you. What's up? Uh, yeah, I don't see Pico. Does anybody see Pico? No, I don't, I don't see any. Hi, hi, folks. Welcome to Philadelphia. <laughs> Are you on the welcome committee? I don't see Pico. Well, they were Maybe here they're down under there. All week. I know. So Mark Tobe told me, oh, Mark Tobe uh, kind of runs the place here. He told yeah. me yesterday, Mike, that since it burned for seven hours, they're basically going to have to rebuild it underground. So who knows how long we're going to be on that generator. What? Yeah. I don't know the, the official language. But really? They have to rebuild the vault or something. Am I so it's going to be right, this, this yeah. noisy out here for weeks and weeks? I think so. How you doing? I can't take it! Come back inside. This, this is the way I should jog right here with my shirt off. You should not. What's up, man? <laughs> Somebody kill his mic, please. <laughs> All right. Not backing down. Serena Williams with some really strong words for those who say she should focus on winning rather than fighting for equality. Check this out. For $69.99, you can swab the dog, right? Get a little, piece, little bit of saliva and check out the DNA of your dog. Really? This is crazy popular, LJ. I'm telling you, people love this stuff. I kind of like it. Yeah. You do? I do. Did you ever I look like at that little, yeah, never look at Diamond LJ and say, geez, I wonder what she's all about? Well, now you can figure it out. I just say she's a Morky. She's half Maltese, half Yorkie. Well, this will prove it. So do it. <laughs> now, <laughs> it, it now I have to prove my dog's yes. DNA. <laughs> yeah. It always comes back that you're, you're part Eastern European. So yeah. Diamond yeah. is probably Eastern European. <laughs> she yeah. probably is. Yeah. Sean, thank you for keeping this going. People are on Twitter are really hot about this. Well, that's kind of how you watch morning television. You look over to see the time, make sure that you're on time. You're on time, time getting yeah. out the door. That's why we keep saying the time over and over and over, too. Gotcha. By the way, it's... 7.49. Thank you. 73 <laughs> degrees. Uh, uh, let's move along here. Uh, we're going to... Hold on a second. Don't even move. Okay. 
Camp Mosey Wood. Jen is at a camp this morning, and not just an ordinary camp. She is a social climber. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Um, when you're trying to lose weight, you are constantly stepping on the scale, trying to see if those numbers have moved, if you've met your goals. Well, a doctor has a message for you. Stop doing it. Stop it. Dr. Charlie Seltzer, who is an exercise specialist here in Philadelphia, says you should only weigh yourself once a day. Do people do it more than once a day? I normally do it right when I get up because you want to be the lightest. That's true. And then do you do it again throughout the day? No, no, yeah, not I at don't. all. Okay, so he says the best time is the first thing in the morning, as Mike said, after you go to the bathroom oh, yeah, you with pee. no clothes on. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm naked. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, you want to get rid of that uh, pee weight. It might be just like a half a an little... ounce or something. I don't even own a scale. What? I, that's torture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why? It can, it, it can affect the rest of your day. Of your, and you're doing it the yeah. first thing you wake up, you and then down. so you're like, oh, my weekend. And then you th you start uh, regretting everything you ate and drank yes. and the milkshakes and the, it, why? I did that this morning. I regretted last night. You didn't mm. regret last night because you hung out with great people. You regretted oh, yeah, 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 your yeah. food choices. Yeah, and I stayed, okay. I stayed up too late and ate, and ate uh, too late. Gotcha. Anyway, uh, that's my problem. Yeah. It's straight up 8 o'clock. Right, Sean? Yep. It's 8 o'clock! Oh, that would have well, nicely done. You know what? I don't think that color's going to work. It's not vivid enough. It's not? No, I think you really need to go back to the black Sharpie. Back to black, Sean. But we appreciate the, the, the idea. Um, let's roll tape. All right, Sean. Is this hard work? You know, it's not easy. <laughs> Got to give the people. Alexa, make popcorn for me. Sounds weird, right? But it's true. You can get a Amazon basic microwave with Echo Dot. Yeah. It'll make popcorn just by asking it. Uh, this is bizarre. $59.99. It's usually $109. It's a great price if you need a little microwave in the kitchen that is now Alexa enabled. So you just have to speak to your microwave. How Orwellian is that? Mark? That really is. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to load it with popcorn. You just got to load it with popcorn. By the way, it'll reorder automatically for you if your popcorn supply runs low. I don't use Alexa. <laughs> I use Lauren. Lauren? <laughs> Lauren makes a popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> Lauren? More it popcorn. It keeps him quiet. <laughs> Lauren? <laughs> Popcorn. Yep. Dan, thank you. You got it, Lauren. This is a real deal sa saver right here. Oh. Uh, you okay? You need some Lauren? water. <laughs> water. Uh, Lauren. Water. <laughs> you know, Lady Gaga has Sean. a makeup line now. Well, oh, she does. Yeah. So it makes when you're done, <laughs> your face looks like meat. What? No, I don't know. You don't know. Okay, so it's called House Laboratory. Haas. How do you know it's Haas? Well, H-A-U-S is Haas. It's Haas Laboratories. Amazon is the brand's official partner. Oh. Maybe Dan can find you some Haas. Haas Laboratory. Right. Um, Pre-order the products today and tomorrow. And to celebrate the launch of her line, she and her longtime makeup artist, Sarah, are having a makeup tutorial tonight. You can mm -hmm. head over to Amazon Live at 6 o'clock. And you can see those two giving details about every product and talking about how they work together to co-create that line. I was going to go to the Phillies game, but that's at 6. So that's 6 p.m. I'm, I'm going to do the Lady Gaga makeup tutorial instead of the Phillies game. You, maybe you can learn more about blending. That seems to be your issue. I have a problem with makeup blending. <laughs> when is Alex back? <laughs> Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. Uh, welcome back, everybody. It is uh, 8.24 on this Monday morning. Uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Got some uh, parenting advice over the weekend from Jay-Z and Beyonce. Yes, they did. Check out these pictures posted on Instagram at the Lion King's European premiere. Apparently, Jay-Z and Beyonce told the royals to always find time for yourself. Beyonce also reportedly told the Duchess that baby Archie is so beautiful. But I want you to see this video, though. Okay. Um, she embraces Beyonce. They hold hands. You know, the, the normal, the, this is what women do when they, hey, girl. For you, the baby oh, is so beautiful. That beautiful. So then she leaves and she sees Jay Z, and then she gets a hug. Do we have that? I don't know. Maybe we can find it though. The hug had me crying, laughing because all the comments underneath was like, "Jay Z knows," because he gives her one of these. Oh, don't quite touch. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I don't want anybody to confuse this for anything else. Like, where's Beyonce? <laughs> right. Just a little. Mm. We have to find the video. It's it's funny.